Hey guys, how's it going? I got a pretty um cool tastic NU match. This is my for now finalized team based around Flitzel. I don't know. Um I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep doing the whole Flitzel thing. This is gonna be my team for now. I can think of a couple ways that I could fix the team, but I would have to have change just about everything around and I don't feel like doing that <laughs> I just don't but whatever looking at this guy's team he's probably gonna lead off with the Golurk or the um Ninjask so I'm just gonna go ahead and lead off with my float zone cuz yeah I pretty much lead off with him every single time unless I'm positive he's gonna lead off with something that it does not fit well against which is not many things I might try to make another team with a sweeper that's better because I know I love float zone and it's great but I think that if I looked hard enough, there could be things that are better. So that's what I'm going to try and do. But anyways, let's get into the match. I'm leading off my float zone, as I already said. And I know this is a long video, but it is a pretty dang close match with some good plays. So we both just set up our beanbags first turn. And I'm like, okay, we're both just going to try to set up. He might just try to protect. Let's see what he's going to go for. I am just going to go for the bulk up. And, and he's going to go for the swords dance. Which is pretty cool because we're both just setting up and I don't know what he wants to do. If he wants to attack me, protect, just baton pass immediately, I'm just not sure. And I'm pretty sure I just break his sub right here and he breaks mine. So we're pretty much playing the same game right here except um, on this turn I know that I can live a hit from him. But he cannot live a hit from me. So I'm going to just go for the waterfall and there's really no point of him staying in. So he does baton pass out going into his electros i do a good chunk for just plus one that does actually a lot and i'm just going to switch out go into my vibe brava to take the electric hit and pretty much counter this electros if it does not have hidden power ice and i do like vibrava it's pretty nice if you use it the right way but in some games and situations it's just not right but in this game it happened to work out pretty nicely i go for the toxic just because the only other thing i could do is u-turn and i feel like i could just toxic instead and that aqua tail does a ton and i just u-turn out of there barely live in the aqua tail and i go into my mill tank so i can set up my rocks now um at this point I'm just kind of toxic stalling him, and I forgot that these things got drain punch completely. So that is just going to make it so I'm going to have to stall him even longer because the only thing that I really have to take this guy on one-on-one -on -one is Vibrava, and now that that thing is at low HP, and I can't even hit it with its stab, I'm definitely going to have to uh, play my cards. And here I went into my Vibrava just because I thought he would predict me to go in my Mischievous, predicting the Drain Punch, but no, this guy is playing obviously, so this is where I'm like, okay, I got to use this to my advantage. This is one of those guys who just plays plain obviously. I go into my Mischievous so he won't go for the Drain Punch, and then I go out in my Ampharos to take any hit extremely well. He goes for the Flamethrower, and since I am specially defensive, I do take that extremely well. And now I'm like, okay, he's obviously going to try and live. Let's just go back out into my Mischievous. And that's exactly what happens. He tries to go for the Drain Punch. And, yeah, I kind of feel like a dick about doing that, but it's whatever because I didn't really have any other options because he's at plus two speed, I think, plus two, plus three, same thing. But, anyways, he goes into his live part now, and he goes to the Encore. I think that was a misclick, but I just Thunder Wave him. That was kind of risky because a lot of times live parts come in and just go for the sub, but I just wanted to try and catch him. Now I go into my Ampharos, and... Hmm, why didn't I go into my Ampharos? I don't know, just because I didn't... Uh, I have Heal Bell, maybe I can get rid of the Paralysis if he wants to Thunder Wave me. And I can just hit him with the Discharge or Volt Switch or whatever I want to do. And in this case, I go for the Discharge. Yes, I could have gone for the Volt Switch in hindsight, because he is going to go for the Foul Play. And I do miss, which shows me that he has the Bright Powder. And once again, an item used by generally people that aren't very good. No offense if you do use that item. But he goes for the Foul Play. I go to my Unpheasant. And by the way, I love this thing. It can. It is a great support Pokemon. Have you guys ever wanted the perfect Wish Passer? This is it. This guy has pretty good HP, speed, and attack. Look at that. I have four attack investment. It almost takes a lot part out. That is crazy. 
Um, you can wish and you turn out. I don't know. I love the thing. And Smogon has a support set. I think it really should have at least a wish and you turn in that support set. Just my opinion, but um, whatever. I predict him to go into his go alert, go for the hidden power ice, because it would have killed the lie part. Anyways, and now I'm just going to switch out into my Mischievous because it can take on go alerts extremely well, except for this shadow punch. And here I should have just gone for the destiny bond, but I thought I could take it out with the shadow ball. Just shy, probably lived with one HP. That is crazy. Um, he definitely had some HP investment because... Um, I've had shadow balls that do around 60 to 70 percent, and I just go to my unpheasant to uh, U turn, go into my Ampharos, I believe, because it'll take anything on his team pretty well after the leftovers. I'm not sure anything can straight up KO it except for the Ludicolo, maybe the Charizard, too, actually, now that I think about it. But I'm just staying in here, like, okay, let's see what he can do. Ampharos is pretty bulky. He goes for the Roost, and I'm like, okay, I can just go for the Discharge. Don't get the Paralysis, but it's whatever. He, now, on this turn, I'm like, I can probably live any hit. He goes for the Fire Blast, and it's not just any normal Fire Blast. It's Fire Gem. And sorry about this lag. Showdown has been lagging like crazy recently, especially yesterday. It wasn't even up. It was completely down. And here I go into my float cell, knowing I can threaten him out, I go for the sub, but I did not expect the Ludicolo, actually, I expected the lie part, but now that I think about it, I did see the lie part having returned, and I forgot about that. Anyways, I go for the return, it does enough to the point where I won't be able to kill it next time, so I'm going to switch out and going to my mill tank, knowing he's going to go for another Giga Drain, obviously, and that is why I have mill tank to take the super effective hits. And that's why I have Vibrava to take the electric kit. So yes, it works out pretty well. I like this team. And I, the thing is, I just wouldn't know what to change about it. I do want to spin around this team, and I don't want to take Ampharos off, so I would be stuck in quite a pickle there. And yeah, I, I, would, I was just going to scrap the whole team except for... Um, Float Zell and start all over, but I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to move on after this because I've done about 25 battles now, probably a little less. And I have kept a good win-loss ratio. I'm probably somewhere around 20-something and 5. I think 20-something and... Yeah, it's 20-something and 5. I don't know. It's it's a fun team, don't get me wrong, but... um, I'm trying to get onto the ladder. I'm very close. I'm around 17... 30, 40, I want to say. I'm not completely sure. I did not check. Um, but whatever. Um, I'm in my Unpheasant now, and he goes to two Roost, which is really weird. I just go for the return with barely any attack investment. That still does a ton. I love this Unpheasant. Oh my gosh, I might use that again soon. If it was just a little bit faster, it would be better, though. <laughs> like at least 100, 105. I could see that even being reasonable. Whatever, I go into my float cell just to um, pretty much clean up the rest of his team. And that was extremely close because, once again, I say this a lot, but there were a lot of factors that could have gone um, if I, I don't know. There are just so many things that could have happened. It was a very close game, and right here he could have possibly hacked me out with his Lipard, Thunder Wave, Swagger, all that crap. But anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed. You can leave sir, some suggestions for good sweepers that can set up in less than like a couple turns. That's what I'm looking for. And oh, and they should be one type. That's it. <laughs> Whatever. Goodbye.